Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanna go over a second stimulus update as well as address the second stimulus package, as well as talk about what could potentially be in a second stimulus check payment. So you're probably wondering, well, how much money would I get if there is a second stimulus check sent out? Well, we got some great news out of the White House just yesterday, so I wanna address that in today's video. But first off, all I ask is that you hit that thumbs up button because it just helps out the video. And also, share this video with your friends and family over on Facebook so that they're getting the same great information that you are as well. So in today's video, like I said, I wanna address what's being talked about, what's being said, what could potentially be in the second stimulus package. And I also wanna give you a way that you can make money today. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video and I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step method where you can start making money right now. That's right. So as long as you stick around till the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make money right now. You can make over $200 a day doing this simple technique and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So in regards to the second stimulus package, we have some big news out of the White House yesterday. So I'm gonna address that in just a second. The first thing I wanna say is that a lot of people bashed the video that I did a couple days ago saying that a $1,200 per month uh, plan is not on the table. What are you talking about? You're stupid, you're dumb. It's not going to happen. Here's what I wanna say, okay? The $1,200 proposal per month was never on the table. But what you're gonna see in today's video is that it doesn't matter if something was proposed or not. The White House, the Senate is gonna go over a bunch of different plans, a bunch of different proposals. So could a potential $1,200 per month stimulus check be on the table? Yes, it could. Is it very likely? No, it's not. But what is likely is a mixture of you know payroll tax credits, uh, maybe a, a per week back to work bonus, and possibly a one-time stimulus check. Those all could be mixed in. Those all could be put together, which would be an incredible stimulus package for you and I, okay? So I don't wanna say that, you know, all these different proposals and plans and packages that people have brought up and brought to the table and mentioned are completely off the table. They're not. People are going to look at these, the Senate, the Republicans, the Democrats, they're all gonna look at these all these different proposals, there are all these different plans, all these different ideas, and figure out what's the best thing for everybody. Well, that's the hope. Is it gonna be the best thing for everybody? Probably not. There's probably gonna be a lot of people that get mixed, that, that they don't even look at, they don't help and for whatever reason. And I completely understand that there's a lot of things, a lot of moving parts, but again, we need to be fair. Everybody needs to be taken care of right now in this moment. So now, let me read something to you from the Wall Street Journal. This was published two days ago, okay? This was published on June 2nd from the Wall Street Journal. Now, what they, what they talked about, they talked about how they, uh, they uh, got a, a response or something from a, from a White House official, okay? And it was confirmed by Kevin Hassett. If you don't know who Kevin Hassett is, He's, a White, he's the White House economic advisor. So he's the one that will be sitting with Donald Trump, advising him on what's going on, what should they do, what should their next steps be. This is his job. So when he confirmed this Wall Street Journal report, then it just showed that yes, there are things moving, but you and I just don't see them right now. So the first thing that was reported was President Donald Trump and his top advisors, which would include Kevin Hassett, uh, are reported set, reportedly set to meet in the coming days to begin the process of determining the pro their priorities for the next federal response package, okay? So that's what they're gonna do over the next coming days. However, it also says that in a caution, the timing of the meeting could change due to recent events. You and I both know what those events they're talking about is, okay, the riots, the protests, stuff like that, that could slow things down. What the Wall Street Journal also noted was that the senior administration official uh, said that the White House views the nation as having emerged 
from the rescue phase. So nobody needs to be rescued. Now we're in the growth phase. That's what the White House has stated based on the senior administration official. Okay. Now, is that really true? The Wall Street Journal is pretty credible. So I think it would be. And then being that Kevin Hassett came on, I think it was CNBC yesterday. And he said that the Wall Street Journal was very accurate. Okay. They must have some really good reporters, really good intel. Okay. Because everything they said was very accurate. So that just tells me that exactly what the Wall Street Journal is reporting is what's happening. And this next thing that I'm going to read to you is what has got me uh, pretty much to where I am today. This report is pretty much what I've been telling you all along. Let me read it to you really quick. Okay, I have it here on my computer. The president's team has assembled a set of proposals meant to encourage the public to return to work and resume normal life, including going out to restaurants and taking vacations in an effort to jumpstart the ailing economy as quickly as possible. This is what the Wall Street Journal reported. Now, here's what I want you to understand. This is what I've been saying all along, is that the, the president's team has assembled a set of proposals, not one, a set, multiple proposals. Now, why would they assemble multiple proposals? Why would they do that? Are they just gonna flip a coin and be like, ah, oh, we picked that one, flip another coin? No, this one wins. They're not going to do that. What they're going to do is look at every proposal and pick and choose the different parts from each one that they like to make their own. It's simple. That's exactly what they're doing. And this is what I've been saying all along. This is also what I, what I meant earlier in this video when I said, okay, that the next stimulus package is going to consist of multiple parts. Like I said, maybe a stimulus check, maybe a $1,200 stimulus check. They might also include weekly back to work bonuses. Donald Trump has already stated that he would love to see some type of payroll tax credit that you'd get at the, you know, at the, every time you get a, a check. Now, and I'm gonna address that in just a second. And there's other credits as well that they have been looking into. But here's what you need to understand and why I think there's gonna be multiple parts. Cause number one, a $1,200 uh, stimulus uh, check is just not enough. People have already stated that. I know the IRS, or not the IRS, but I know the, the Senate knows that. Okay, the House knows that. Donald Trump knows $1,200 is just not enough to give to the American people. Okay, one time $1,200 check just will not cut it. The next thing you need to understand, when it comes to that, the back to work bonus, obviously that's good. So you get $1,200 plus you get like a back to work bonus. That's great. The other thing that they have been reporting on recently is that Instead of, and this is what the Democrats have been saying, okay, is that what they are fighting for, this, these, this is their top demand, or two top demands. One is they want to get, um, they want to get funding for state and local governments. And the second thing, which is actually more important, is they want additional unemployment relief, which means, which you probably heard of this before, instead of giving $600 per week to the people that are on, on unemployment, what they can do is instead of giving $600, which is gonna expire July 31st, that would exp expire July 31st, but what they could do is in the next proposal, the next stimulus package, they can say, okay, we're not gonna give you $600 per week, we're gonna cut that down to 300, and it's gonna slowly dwindle away. So week one, 300, week two, maybe 275, week three, 250, and it just keeps dropping until the whole thing is gone, right? And so I think that's a very good and I think that it's a good idea. I think some people will be against it because they'd rather get the 600 bucks, but at the same time, $300 compared to nothing is still better. So I think this is where they're gonna really negotiate and it's gonna settle somewhere in the middle. Now, back to the, the report from the Washington, or the Wall Street Journal, where it said the president's team has assembled a set of proposals meant to, meant to encourage the public uh, to return to work and resume normal life. Nobody can resume normal life without money. How do you expect them to go out to restaurants and pay for it if they don't have money? How do you expect them to take vacations if they don't have money? All they're doing here, and this is something that was reported as well, you may have heard of, where uh, they are reporting that there is a proposal out there that would give you a credit to go on vacation within the United States. They, they don't want you going to Mexico and Italy and 
China, that's for sure. They want you to some vacation somewhere in the United States, travel wherever you want to, and they're going to pay you X amount of dollars to do so. They're going to give you a credit to do that. And if that's the case, great. I think a lot of people would do that. But if people do not have the money to go on vacation, then how are they going to earn that tax credit? So really all you're doing is giving a tax credit to the wealthiest people, the people that are poor or are in the lower you know, half or third, are not going to be able to take advantage of this, this proposal, of this possible stimulus plan. So even though you think it's helping, it's really not helping the lower half or lower third. It's really not helping the people that have money. So again, it's a great idea, but I think it needs some work. Now let me address a couple other things. First off, the wait and see approach. What are my thoughts on it? Is it working? Here are my thoughts, okay? The wait and see approach that the Republicans have been going by the past month or so, it's a good idea in theory, but in reality, it just doesn't work. More people need help, and the help that they are slowly getting is not enough, and it's definitely not quick enough. So the wait and see approach is failing. And I think the longer the, the Senate waits to you know, put in the next bill to vote on this, this HEROES Act, I think the problem is there's going to be more problems that arise as opposed to a lot of these issues going away. So does the wait and see approach work? I think it's a good idea in theory, but it just hasn't worked yet. Now, here's one of the issues that I have right now. Okay, Let me give you an example. Let's say you're on a fixed income. Okay? You get Social Security, you get disability. Now, you are probably struggling right now simply because the cost of food, like groceries, has gone up. So the rising costs are making it difficult for you to survive, difficult for you to put the same amount of food on the table. If you were you know, living on a fixed income before and prices all of a sudden went up, but your income stayed the same, okay, if you were surviving then, now you're not. Now you're underwater. Okay, that's a huge issue. So a lot of these veterans, a lot of people on social security, on disability, okay? A lot of people on this fixed income, they can't survive right now. So I think the US needs to step up, give people some money that they can actually live off of. And this is why I think the second stimulus uh, package will go through. I think there will be a second stimulus check. I think the second stimulus check is gonna be a mix of multiple parts. It's, I believe, Okay, I think it's probably about a 70% chance right now, okay, after reading a lot of stuff over the weekend, and everything, I think it's about a 70% chance that we get a second stimulus check of $1,200. I think it's probably about a 50% chance that there's a uh, some type of back to work bonus of $450 or more, okay? My, my guess and most likely it will be a very limited amount of money that you get to go back to work. As far as the people that have been working, I'm hoping that there is something, you know, in it for them as well. Some type of bonus that, you know, that, hey, I never stopped working bonus. You know, maybe the government will do that. Who knows? I doubt it, but that would be great to give them the, the recognition that they deserve for actually keeping the economy where it is instead of just completely tanking like it probably was going to. Um, so I think that could be on the table as well. And I know what definitely will be on the table will be a probably a payroll tax credit, which is going to do you absolutely no good. Let me explain why really quick. Let's say you get, uh, your, let's say that payroll tax credit is going to save you $50 per paycheck. Let's say you get paid every Friday. That's going to save you $200. You're going to get an additional $200 every month. Now, let's say you get $200 every single month. We're in June right now. Okay. So let's say you start in July. So you got July, August, September, October, November, December. Six months. You got six months, you get you get an extra $200 per month. That equals the $1,200 that we got the very first time, the first stimulus check. And so you're going to get an additional $1,200 in kind of a tax credit. Here's the problem. It's spread out over the next six months. People need that money today. Even if you gave people $1,200 today, they're still going to be in the hole. So having that slow tax credit doesn't really help anybody out right now. It's just a little slow credit, little benefit. Like, here you go. Here's some peanuts. Snack on these. And it just doesn't work. Now, I don't want to drag this video out any longer. I know you've probably been waiting. 
how can I make $200 or more per day without really doing much? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. So let's jump in the computer. I'm gonna show you how you make $200. It's very easy. So let's go. So there is this really cool website out there. It's called Google. You probably heard of it. It's this website right here, google.com. Now you're probably wondering, well, how can I make money on google.com? You know, what, what could I do? Well, let me show you. Look at this. So when you're on Google, what you do is you can go and help out other businesses. These, these businesses that are struggling, these are businesses that are failing. You can help them make money. Look at this. So let's say I live in, um, let's say I live in Orlando, okay? Orlando uh, Lawn Care, okay? That would be a business. I go type in Orlando Lawn Care. I'm gonna scroll down here where it has the map and it has these businesses. I'm gonna click on more businesses. Now, once you're here, what you're gonna do is you wanna find businesses that actually have not claimed their listing. So when I mean they haven't claimed their listing, what I'm saying is they don't actually own the listing. Nobody does. It's on Google, but nobody can make any changes until somebody owns it. So let me show you this. So I just scroll down here. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit right here. Artisan Lawn Care LLC. I click on that one and this pops up, okay? It has their hours, their clothes, they open at 8 a.m., has their phone number, and then it says suggest and edit or own this business with a question mark. If we click on this, this will tell us, okay? So right here, this business, okay, does is not owned. Let me click on that one again, okay? Own this business, okay? So right here, this is not owned. If it was owned, it would have said, this business has been claimed. Okay, let me show you what I mean by that. Let's click on this one right here. Okay, own this business. I'll click on that. Nope, it's not doing it. Let me show you again. Uh, let's say this one right here. Own this business. Okay, like this right here. This is what I wanted to say. Because now, manage this business to reply to reviews, update info, and more. So if I own, what, if I actually own this business, I would click on manage now, and I could go and I could get a little pin number that gets sent to my my uh, address, and I just put it in, and then I own the business. I own that. Oops, not directions. I want. Let me go back. Okay, and all you do is just keep clicking on these. If I can do it right. Okay, so all you do is come down, say I go to this one right here. I don't wanna to go to the website. Click on that, own this business. Okay, and there we go. And click manage now. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, so do I click on manage now or what do I do? I'm a little confused. So no, you do not click on manage now. What you do, so this one right here, the lawn guys. What I would do, okay, what I would do here is I'd send them either an email, if I can get their email address. So how you do that, I'm gonna come up here to their website and open up their website. I wanna get their email address or I wanna call them. I have their phone number there. But if I can't get their email address, so I'm gonna click contact us right here and I can send them an email right here to the lawn, to the lawn guys, Orlando. I'm guessing it's the lawn guys, not to the lawn guys. I'm gonna send them an email there, right there. That's their email. I'm sending them an email there saying, hey, you know, I see that you have a lawn care business, which is great. One of the things that I do is I help online or help businesses create an online presence. And the way I can help you do that is by helping you update your Google My Business, which is this, okay? So they're gonna be like, okay, well, how do you do that? What does it cost? Everything like that. Well, I will charge you $50 that is it, $50 a flat fee, and here's what I'll do. I will help you claim your business, which is essentially you go here and help them claim their business. You will send them a PIN code or a PIN number, okay, which Google will send out within like five days. They send you a PIN number to this address, okay, to this address right here, Orlando, Florida. They send you a, dress, a PIN, you input the PIN, and now you own this business. It's yours. You can go and edit the address, edit the hours, at the phone number, add pictures, add some different stuff. Look at this. Let me click on like this one here. Okay. You can go and make it. That wasn't a great, 
Great example like this one. You can go and add all these pictures. You can do all this stuff right here. You can add this, okay? There's different things right here. You can go and reply to some of these reviews. There's a lot of things you can do here. And so by doing this, what actually happens is instead of getting their, uh, their business on like page two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10, you're gonna push it up to page one because all you're doing is updating it. All you're doing is getting them on the first page because I can tell you this right now. Let's say I go to Seattle uh, Moving Company, right? And so if I do that, this is where I wanna be. I wanna be here. I don't wanna be on page two, three, four, or five. Let me show you this, okay? Seattle Moving Company, I'm gonna type that in. This is the reason why. If you are not in the top three, you're not gonna be on this list. And the majority of people will not click on more businesses. They will only click on these top three. Chances are it's gonna be the first one. So if you're not in the top three, you're gonna get very little clicks, you're gonna get very little business. So you need to push yourself up on that list. So now you're probably thinking, okay, I get it. You want me to go around, send all these different businesses, an email saying, hey, I can help you out. I can get you on this list, which in turn will hopefully get you more business, which means more money, right? And that's essentially all you're doing. But it's not just Seattle moving companies, okay? Seattle lawyers, right? Seattle lawn care, okay? Maybe it's not even in Seattle, okay? Maybe Tacoma lawn care, right? You come here and you're going to talk to all these different businesses right here. I'm going to click on more businesses and show you what I mean. Come down here. Let's say this is the one right here. Okay. Own this business. I'm going to click on that. Okay. And let people know, hey, this is how I can help you out. Go down to this one right here. Do the same thing. Own this business. Okay. That's all you're going to be doing. It's so easy. Now, $50, $50 per business is not a lot of money. Most businesses are like, oh, sure, I'll do that. Now, it is a tough time right now. So because of that, just be aware of the fact that some people are like, we're just not doing a lot of business right now. I just can't afford it. Thanks anyway. But some people will be like, all right, I could use more business. Definitely. 50 bucks sounds good. Now, here's the cool thing. Okay. You don't have to be in Tacoma to do that. You don't have to be in Seattle. You don't have to be in Denver or Miami or Orlando or Atlanta or you know, LA. Okay? It doesn't matter. El Segundo, it doesn't matter where you're at. You can do this from anywhere inside the United States. Now, in order to get pictures, all you gotta do, hey, do you got any pictures? If you do, send them to my email address and I'll upload them onto your account. That's it. That's all you have to do. And you can easily do four different ones in a day. Now, how many emails you have to send out to get four different people to say yes? Here's the problem. You're gonna get uh, one out of every, let's say, uh, 10 emails that you send out will actually apply. Out of those 10 emails, or out of those, uh, that one person that actually replies to your email, you will probably need about five to eight people to reply before one says yes. So that means you need to send out between 50 and 80 emails every single day, just get one person to say yes, okay? So if you want to get four people to say yes, you need to send out anywhere from, uh, what is that, 200 to 320 emails a day to get four people to say yes. Here's a cool thing. You can do this for lawn care, okay? Waste removal. You can do this for a moving company, a lawyer, a dentist, Okay, a business manager, a musician, a photographer, it doesn't matter. You can do this with anybody, anywhere. So the last thing I just want to say is go out there and do it. Give it a shot. Make that money. Now, how do you get paid? Simple. PayPal. PayPal is the easiest way to get paid. Now, do you see how easy that is? It doesn't take a genius to realize that's really easy. That's a really simple way to make money. I think I could do that. Just go give it a shot. Go send out 50 emails today. Okay, as I watch this video, after you do this, go send out 50 emails and say, hey, you know, I could really help you gain some more business. I think 
and you know you have a really good business idea i saw your website it's really well done however i noticed you need to get more people to see your listing and the best way to do that is to push you up the search engine and the best way to do that is to own the listing and i can help you do that right give them a quick little you, you can give them a price i usually do or i did before when i was doing this or you can not it's really up to you you decide whatever you want to do but figure out what works best for you and your business so if you guys have any questions on how you can make over 200 dollars per day by going on google and claiming these businesses for these other companies it really works ask ask your questions down in the comment section below also if you have any questions whatsoever when it comes to stimulus checks the second stimulus check stimulus updates the stimulus package that's on the table right now at the senate but could potentially not be touched for two to four weeks let me know ask your questions down in the comment section below i'm here to help you out any way i can hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you guys on the next one